Alright, this is Soldier Knows Best and today I'm going to be upgrading the RAM in my MacBook Pro from the standard 2 gigabytes to 4 gigabytes of RAM. Um, today you're going to need three things. I'm going to need my nice and stylish MacBook Pro, of course. I'm going to need a precision Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to be using the 1.6 millimeter. And you're going to need two sticks of 2 gigabytes 200 pin DDR2 RAM which I purchased mine from crucial.com they offer a handy tool called their Mac scanner which actually scans your computer to tell you exactly what type of RAM you need so you won't make a mistake of getting the wrong RAM it cost me uh, around $95 for this pair of RAM very good deal um, you can find you can shop around and find similar prices from Kingston or you go to Newegg or you go to Mac Mall um, but I trust Crucial and I've been using Crucial for a few years now so I decided to go with them. Alright, go ahead and get started here. Okay, the first thing, you'll need to flip over your MacBook and you're going to need to remove the battery just like so. Alright, you're going to have three very tiny screws that you're going to need to remove. One, two, three. Um, I'm using again, I'm using the 1.6 millimeter to do this. Upgrading, upgrading your RAM in your computer is probably the easiest, simplest, and cheapest way. Um, to improve the performance of your computer, especially in a laptop. Um, the MacBook Pro can only handle up to 4 gigabytes of RAM. Of course, if you have a Mac Pro or a desktop, you can handle a lot more. Okay, once you get those unscrewed, I just leave the screws right in their holes and I set it to the side. Alright, now what we have here, you see where your two sticks of one gigabyte RAM are seated and the trick to pulling this off the two metal prongs are holding them together you simply push them outward and your RAM will pop up just like that at about a 45 degree angle and you simply just pull it out set it to the side and you do the same for the one on the bottom Okay, the same way you took it out is the same way you're going to uh, put in your new sticks of RAM. Alright, you're going to insert them in at a, another 45 degree angle. Push it in, make sure it's in all the way, and you simply press down. That easy. Do the same for the one on the top. Snap, drop down, again just do another check and now you just need to replace the cover that you removed. Go ahead and tighten down the screws. Place the battery like so. I just like pressing this button, check how much my, uh, battery power I got. I can't help it. All right, next thing is pretty much the test. So you need to flip back over your MacBook Pro. Open it up. Start her up. Uh. 
And I'm gonna have Windows on boot camp here, so just to make sure I boot up in Mac OS 10. Uh, you simply just hold down the Option key, and it's selected on Macintosh hard drive. Press Enter. Okay, if you installed your RAM incorrectly, um, which pretty much you probably didn't push it in all the way, or you installed the wrong type of RAM, you're more than, more than likely to get uh, a series of beeps once you first started the MacBook Pro. So once that happens, um, just make sure you just turn it off, open it back up, and double check to see if you pushed in the RAM all the way and it's seated correctly, and to also check if it's also check if you um, have the right type of RAM, which if you use the Mac scanner, you should from crucial.com. Okay, all right, what I'm going to go here now is just to show you that the RAM is installed and the Mac OS 10 recognizes my 4 gigs. And simply you open it up and go to open the Apple button and you press about this Mac. And I'll zoom in so you can see just by holding control and scrolling with my mouse. Ooh, very nice. Now you can see where it recognizes memory 4 gigabytes of 667 megahertz DDR2 SD RAM. Okay, again, this has been Soldier Knows Best. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing videos like this uh, more than likely, um, three or four a week. I'm um, just going over um, different uh, aspects of technology, mostly Mac products and my MacBook Pro, and just showing you how you can take advantage of it and use technology to the fullest. All right, peace.